Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for being here today. My name is Mbumi Mbete, and I'll be your program director for today. I would like to, in my personal capacity, welcome you. Welcome all the stakeholders here. I asked Mel, so what's the protocol? And she said, we are all partners here. So good morning, uh, good afternoon partners, colleagues in the media, members of our uh, local government, teachers, learners, and everybody who's here invested in making our country a better place. It's so interesting this afternoon as I was uh, leaving the show, I work for Rise FM um, on the breakfast team, and as we were debriefing after the show, obviously, Twitter is our new agenda, and there's an interesting conversation happening currently on Twitter, finger pointing, blaming, and the usual armchair activism. And yet, I could come to a gathering like this of people who decide to leave their businesses, leave whatever else you were committed to, instead of being armchair activists and actually doing something about a better country. Can we give ourselves a round of applause? Now we'll expand further on our purpose for today's event, but just to get some housekeeping out of the way, um, I'm known as a drill sergeant, I try not to be, but let's just get the rules out of the way. Common courtesy, when someone is on the stage, let's minimize chitter-tatter unless your car is burning and somebody has to whisper it to you. Please uh, minimize conversation in between when a speaker is uh, speaking. It is not only disrespectful to the person here, but it might uh, deprive someone sitting next to you of hearing what is being said. So let's just be conscious of that. Bathrooms, toilets are in the main building there. So just up the stairs here, where you signed in, turn to your left in that building there. You should be able to find the toilets there. We will break for lunch. And while we pick up the Samsung there, all cell phones on silent, please, or vibrate, so that they also do not distract us. And I know there will be one that still goes off. So I'm gonna give you a second to dig in your bag and make sure that yours is on silent. While you're digging, we have a blanket section there just by the banners. These blankets, I am told, are for matric uh, winter camp. So the matric learners come and camp at the school and it is so cold in Matafe. This is the only part that reminds me of home and home is Emma Lachlan Woodbank. This part is so cold, so if you have a blanket, please make sure to leave it there. If not, and you would like to contribute, please see Mel later on just to find out how you can do that. We also have some learners amongst us this afternoon who have put aside their school holidays to perform for us. So we have some various schools performing. And with that said, I would like to call upon our first performance for the day, just to get us in the mood and um, now I, I, I had not heard of the school before so I heard the school name from Mel and Mel I didn't trust you so I googled it. <laughs> Mel's my coach so I will not say what she said but Topeche, I think that's the one. So Sanele from Topeche please make his way to the stage and as he does so kindly give him a round of applause. Thank you. 
have to be a, a partner. People have brought their talents, their gifts, whether it's storytelling, whether it's washing uniforms, it doesn't matter. So much has come of it. So I'd like to invite all the PFP partners to join me up front here, and we will sing our little anthem for you.
Um, and none of this would be able to be possible without sponsors. And we, we just want to, you can go to the sponsor page, we just really want to stop here and acknowledge every single sponsor that put their money behind this project. Some companies sponsored people that work for them. Other, other companies sponsored people that don't work for them. We've got sponsorship from a, a, a big national sponsor is APM, um, Femex Sponsorship, that has generously sponsored 100 school principals last year. It is a huge, huge commitment. And it's a massive commitment to South Africa. And I also want to just thank the PFP. They really go out there. We've won numerous awards in the last year. And um, it, it's not possible, none of this stuff is possible without those committed, the, the real deal, the money in the bank to make it happen for all of us. So I think as partners, um, I just like the partners to come up who want to hand over give some appreciation um, to the schools. Just just give me one minute. I just want to stop at one, one sponsor in particular. It was my second last sponsor on board. Um, so much of what we do, we do in pure faith. I even lie in faith. Do you know that? I even tell terrible lies in faith. <laughs> and I had one partner. I, could, I told a whole lot of lies, actually. But I, I had one partner that said he really, really wants to be part of Partners for Possibility. And he said, um, but he didn't know if his company would sponsor him. I don't have two partners like that, but this one particular partner. And um, I said, just come on board. I will go out and find the sponsorship for you. So I rallied around, I got some names from his clients, and I started visiting his clients, and he didn't actually expect that of me. He didn't actually know that's what I was gonna do. And he did manage to get his company to sponsor him. But that's not why I'm mentioning them, because I can, I can mention each story so individually, but local media, has elevated Partners for Possibility in the low felt exponentially over and above the partnership. The coverage that they have given us has been unbelievable. Every single business leader has been featured in the low felt. Every single
a gift that we would we collectively um, put together for you to say thank you very much. Thank you. 